It's Thursday, August the 22nd. It's time to talk some more college football, and I got a pick in a game on Saturday the 24th. This line jumped right off the board at me, and uh, it should you too, and should put your antennas up, and I'll get to that in a moment with my analysis and free pick on that college football contest to be played uh, on Saturday. All right, just a uh, right off the top here, folks, a great special going on at Wager Talk right now. It's our 10-year anniversary. Wager Talk was uh, began on August 24th, uh, which would be, as of Saturday, it will be exactly 10 years. So what are we doing? We're offering you a 10-year anniversary special. All you need to do at checkout uh, is use the promo code 10 year. That's 10 year. You'll see it right below. And uh, you that will apply to any daily packages, whether it be single game or multi game or any all access passes. So take advantage of this offer, folks. And this runs from today, Thursday, the 22nd through Sunday, August the 25th. Again, use at, at checkout for any of your purchases. Use promo code 10YEAR and you'll get 30% off any purchase. So uh, great stuff there. You don't want to miss it. Don't forget to give me a like on our videos here as uh, we're 6-2 and two with our last eight free pick videos on this channel. And uh, we're going to continue to winning today, but just as a small token of your appreciation and also to keep these videos free and keep the people at Wager Talk happy, if you could just hit that like button for me, it will go a long way in that regard. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Wager Talk TV. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button below. It's absolutely free to subscribe. Uh, there's no hidden agenda. There's no strings attached, folks. You'll just be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world. And uh, take one step further. Go into your YouTube settings and click on that alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV. You'll be notified upon any of our uh, podcasts, free pick videos, or instructional videos going up on our great channel. All right. The game that I am referring to when I say it jumped right off the board at me is uh, Montana State, the Bobcats will be traveling to New Mexico to take on the New Mexico Lobos on Saturday afternoon. A slated kickoff is 4 p.m. Eastern time. Now, I lost some value here because Montana State opened as a 9.5-point favorite. They're now up to 12.5, but it doesn't matter to me because at the end of the day, this is the highest a FES team, FCS team, excuse me, has ever been favored. Uh, against an FBS team. It's FCS is Montana State, FBS, New Mexico. And uh, if you go back in time, you'll see, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Let me just start with this for New Mexico. Uh, they made a nice hire in the offseason with Bronco Mendenhall, the former head coach over at Virginia and BYU. But let's keep in mind, uh, Mendenhall is inheriting a team that has not won more than four games over the last seven seasons. As a matter of fact, uh, New Mexico since 2017 has gone a dismal 19 and 60. I also, folks, um, this is also a New Mexico team that's ranked number 124 nationally when it comes to returning production rating. And uh, that means they're very inexperienced, and the people they do bring back didn't give them a hell of a lot of production last year. And also keep in mind, uh, in his first year at Virginia, where he um, took over a similar situation with a struggling program, Mendenhall went just 2-10 and 10 in his first year. And when he took over at BYU, um, he only went six and six in his first year, and that was a more well-established program with a lot of success. So he hasn't really shown the ability to turn things around real quickly in his prior two stops. Uh, so also, okay, again, New Mexico has really, really struggled over the last seven years, and they're about to take on one of the better F FCS programs in all of college football as a matter of fact, in a preseason poll this year, Montana State is ranked number four. They've gone 43 and 14 the last four years 
Uh, they've been to the national championship game two times, the semifinal once, and they were upset in the second round last year uh, in the FCS playoffs. And all four of those losses came against perennial power North Dakota State. So very close to being a national championship team. And two of those four occasions got to the semifinal or another. And last year were upset by North Dakota State 35-34 in round two. So this is a team that has a winning tradition. Uh, they return, return a lot of quality starters um, as they return their starting quarterback. They return five offensive linemen with starting experience. They return their top wide receiver in terms of production and their four top running backs. And that's key because the four top running backs and the offensive line experience because Montana State can run the ball. Last year, they averaged 39.9 yards uh, 39.9 points per game, excuse me. And they also rushed for 291 yards per game. And by the way, New Mexico last year, they allowed 198 yards or more rushing in eight of their 12 games. So, and they don't return a lot. And uh, I, can't, I can't imagine that Montana State's not going to run the ball with a high degree of success and control the clock throughout this contest. They also returned, meaning Montana State, their five top tacklers on defense. And uh, again, folks, you know, you look at these FCS and FBS matchups, and automatically we assume the FBS team is going to uh, win the majority of the time. And that's been the case since 1992. FBS teams or Division I teams that they were uh, at one time uh, called uh, one, are 12, 87, and 92 since 1992 against FCS or Division 1A that they were called at the time. However, since 2021, FCS teams have defeated FBS teams seven times by 13 points or more. So they won seven times, and they won each of those games by 13 points or more. So if you notice, when you go to those results, a majority of them are quality FCS teams that rank in the top 10 nationally uh, at, at that level. And again, North Dakota State, for example, uh, since 2010 has gone 6-1 and one versus FBS teams and knocking off some juggernauts along the way. So when you get into the quality opposition for F, uh, quality teams in the FCS and you're facing a FBS team like New Mexico, lower tier, um, it favors Montana State. Now, is the 12 and a half points too much? I don't think so. I really don't. And to see this line go from nine and a half to 12 and a half speaks volumes to me. And that's sharp money, folks. I could tell you that right now because the average Tom, Dick, and Harry that just bets on sports once in a while or college football is a novice better. We'll look at this matchup and say, well, New Mexico has to be the play here, plus 12 and a half. But I beg to differ. I'm going to think like an odds maker here. I'm going to take Montana State minus 12 and a half over New Mexico. That's Montana State minus 12 and a half over New Mexico on Saturday, August the 24th. All right, who is your uh, top, pick, top pick this coming weekend? I know there's only three games uh, with a line or three or four games with a line, but uh, share your top pick for the weekend. Florida State, Georgia Tech going on Saturday. So uh, let us know. And uh, if not, let us know your best pick on the following week, which is week one of the college football season, which we pretty much have a full slate with everybody in action. So, again, uh, your comments are more than welcome. Keep them respectful. There's, it's okay to banner back and forth, folks, but just be respectful of others. That includes myself, okay? Because if you're not going to be respectful, we'll remove your ability to comment. Uh, there's nothing wrong with disagreeing, but keep it nice. All right, so I'll be back uh, tomorrow with another free pick video in college football. And until then, folks, take care and God bless.